Hey everyone, welcome back. In my previous video about how I cleared the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification Exam, I shared my uh, preparation strategy as well as tips to ace the exam. I also gave a glimpse of my revision notes that I prepared while taking the course as well as practice tests on Udemy. After that video was out, I got so many comments and DMs from you guys asking me to share my notes. But the problem was that I took these notes using a note-taking app called Obsidian which stores these notes in markdown format locally on my Mac. I then push my notes to a GitHub repository to make sure I don't lose them if my laptop breaks. So if you want to view my notes exactly like I do, you can clone my Obsidian Vault repository and download Obsidian to render it. But this solution isn't elegant as it would require you to download an additional software. So I along with my college roommate Sarthak have been working over the past two weeks on a project that would allow us to publish our Obsidian notes online. It's almost complete and I've used it to publish my notes at notes.arkaleem.org. And by the way, if you're finding value out of this video, kindly press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps my videos reach more people and motivates me to keep making videos like this. The project that we're working on converts markdown files that are understood by Obsidian into the ones that are understood by MKDocs, which is an open source static site generator. MKDocs is actually meant for preparing documentations, but it works well for notes too. After the markdown files have been converted, all of the images in my notes are compressed to a fraction of their original size so that they can load quickly in your browser. A static site is then built using MKDocs and finally deployed on Netlify. All of this happens automatically using GitHub Actions. All I have to do is update my notes and push the changes to GitHub. The project is still in progress, which means some of the things like the color or the theme and the overall look and feel of the website might change, but the notes that it is hosting will remain the same. So you can continue your uh, preparation for the AWS SA exam. In the near future, I'll be making a video comparing Notion to Obsidian to show you what are the strengths and weaknesses of each one of them and why I use both but for different purposes. Until then, keep learning and I'll catch you later. Oh,